Good morning, y'all. So today, I'm going to be doing a long-awaited... It would be good to have the foundation with me that I'm actually reviewing. It is 6.55 a.m. And I figured I'd do this foundation review and wear the foundation throughout the day and see how it works. Um, reviewing the Makeup Forever uh, Matte Velvet Skin. So this foundation retails in $38. And it comes in about, I want to say like over 30 shades. I didn't do too much research on it. I walked into Sephora the other day to return something and I saw it and I love Makeup Forever. But yeah, this foundation um, is supposed to be 24 hours, which I'm not going to wear the foundation for 24 hours. I'm going to wear it, you know, throughout my eight hours of my day. Um... But um, let's get let's get into the details of the foundation. So this says that it's supposed to be 24 hour. It's supposed to have that second second skin feel. Now a lot of matte foundations don't really have that second skin feel because they're matte. So you feel like your skin is like. Alright, so let's get right into the let's get right into the video. So this has. 1.1 fluid ounce and this is the packaging now if you guys know this packaging reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Pro Matte Foundation so if I look at it side by side it's actually this one's bigger in size but let's see if it has the same fluid ounce yeah it has 1.1 point zero fluid ounce and in this color I'm in the color natural beige 105 I'm a, a Y245 so that is the shade that I got this in a Y245 alright so let's go ahead and moisturize our skin I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Hydro Blast water gel I probably said the name all wrong water gel moisturizer it locks the moisture. My hair's in a bun because I have to dye it tonight. Um, and I just was like, I'm not washing it if I'm dyeing it because there's no point. <laughs> Why would I do that? All right, so I am going to, I was going to do a brush, my, um, my e.l.f. Uh, blending brush, which this brush is life. Like, it's just dense. I don't know. Should I do one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. Let's, hmm. I'm going to apply the foundation the way I apply it. I'm not trying to play no extra games. I want to see how it applies, um, you know, the way I would normally apply my foundation. So this doesn't say to shake, but I'm going to shake it anyways because you just never know if the foundation separates in it. And of course, it comes with a squeezy tubey, um, which I, to me, find that it's really easy to carry around or whatever the case may be all right so homegirl is thick as uh, she is not moving like she's not moving so that tells me a lot <laughs> all right let's go in and see how this works so I'm gonna guys like thick so in the makeup forever website it shows you different uh, pictures as to how this foundation dries and I, I I mean I went with my best judgment on my skin and how I like my foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out and right now blending like a dream now when I touched it it had a bring you guys out a little bit it had kind of like a oh that's pretty I don't like foundation under my eye because I conceal so I think I have the right shade right off the well, a little lighter than my shade well it hasn't set but right off the back it's just like smooth 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 coverage and my forehead will always be darker than the rest of my face I don't know why but that's just how it is and the sponge that I'm using is the eco eco uh, beauty blender it is my next to fa my favorite 
beauty blender next to the regular beauty blender all right so again so it's not looking cakey it's not doing that matte 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 thing that the pro infallible pro matte does that it's like it's like it sucks the life out of your face but I want to say that it does look semi matte okay so let me do the rest of my face Uh, I need to brighten it up a little bit in here. Let's, let's adjust, let's adjust the lighting. Okay, perfect. All right, so right now my skin is looking flawless. In person, it is looking flawless, flawless. I'm going to add a little bit to my neck area because as you guys know, if you've watched my videos before, I like to bring my foundation down my neck. Because I like to blend it. And because I have uh, discoloration in certain areas. I'm a hairy beast. So for those Hispanic women out there, sis, I'm with you. Alright, so this is what the foundation looks like. It's still drying because I still feel it kind of wet. Um, this is what it looks like. Obviously, I don't have concealer yet. I don't have anything on yet but the foundation so I'm gonna bring you in so you guys can see you can still see some imperfections on my skin it's not like whoo it's not like OD I mean my forehead looks flawless obviously to me it looks flawless my beauty mark is a little bit covered up not completely I have some beauty marks here and I still have some pimples here so I I personally I'm okay with this coverage um, because I don't like to feel like I have OD foundation All right, so let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup is this still recording yeah I'll do the rest of my makeup and I'll come back with my final thoughts I completely finished my makeup just a little soft glam I use the Perception, shit, it's time to go. I use the Perception palette by makeup by uh by Shayla Shayla with ColourPop on my cheeks and my bronzer. I use the Hula bronzer with some Luminoso. Um, to conceal, I use the new Studio Fix 24 Hour Concealer. Just trying it out today. I should have incorporated that in the video, but let me know if you want to see a video on how it looks. Just a little slight highlight, um, nothing too much. I use the, um, what did I use? The Jeffree Star uh, Skin Frost Eclipse, that that thing that he did with Manny um, MUA, and that's pretty much it. Um, oh, for my lips, I use the NYX Butter Gloss, which is, this is like my hands down favorite lip gloss i use this one and my other favorite is the butter gloss in the color peach crisp which let's add a little bit because we have a little peachiness going on in the eyes mm, so pretty yeah so these two are my go-to i have two in my kit two for my own use um bomb and for my cheeks, my um, I already told you guys I use Luminoso. So yeah, thoughts. Everything blended in seamlessly. After I set it with my Fix Plus, I used the coconut one. Everything just, it was like smoothness. At first it looked powdery, but now it doesn't look so powdery. So I have some texture on my skin, guys. So don't mind that. But yeah, overall, I feel like the foundation worked fine with everything that I put on top of it. So, with that being said, time of check-in. Let's see. Let's look at the time. Sorry, my phone is like full of powder. Um, it is 7.35 right now. So, 
let's say we're going to do a check-in at the four hour mark and then we'll go from there. So yeah, this is what my face looks like now. I do not have any filters on my camera. So you guys get to see all my imperfections. But yeah, let's get this day started. What's up, y'all? I'm back. So, final thoughts. This is what the foundation looks like after, let's say, to, it's 6.53 right now. Yeah, so it's 6.53. And I just got home from work. So, come on. Adjust to the light. Bring it to me. Okay. So this is what the foundation looks like after a full, I want to say, what, 753, uh, about 11 hours of wear time. Now, with the exception of my forehead, um, it's just a little oily in my forehead right here. My nose is still intact. Um, just a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of foundation there but I always get that with every foundation blush is still intact highlight is still there a little bit of highlight that I did put um foundation stayed put all day long I did not powder I did not blot I literally sorry my hair is a hot mess I literally just put my my bronzer and my cheek stuff um and then of course I set my under eye, but other than that, I did not set the foundation and it looks like this after a full day of wear. Now mind you, things that I would have done different, I would have done a serum prior to putting on the foundation and I would have put a hydrating, um, a hydrating primer. I want to look powdery. And I do notice that around this area, it is a little bit powdery looking. But overall, I think the foundation looks great. I think it stood in place the entire day. I did not get oily. Would I reuse this? Hell yes. I'm going to try different primers uh, with this foundation and see how well it works. But overall, I think this is going to be a keeper for my for my own use and probably for my kit. Um, so yeah, guys, this foundation... For the price point for $38, I think that it is a really good foundation. And Makeup Forever always comes through. Um, so I I definitely I definitely love their stuff. So um mm. I wanna start doing like a series, a foundation series, you know. There's a lot of times that things get overly hyped in the beauty community and you know you spend your coins and it's like the shit might not work. So you want to make sure that, you know, you have somebody that's going to be trustworthy. And trust me, I care too much about my money for me to be saying, oh, yeah, I love this. I love this. And the shit doesn't work um, because I'm not I'm going to return it. Like, that's how I am. Like, um, no, no, I'm not trying to talk bad about any brand, but like the Huda Beauty, it didn't work for me. Um, I attempted to do a review. I didn't like the foundation so much that I was like, oh, this looks trash. Like. It was just too much. It was too heavy on my skin, too oily. The fragrance was too much. I personally did not like it. But then again, that's something that could work for you guys. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like these types of videos, these wear videos, so you can see the, see the actual foundation do its thing, progress through the day. Because I can put up a foundation on all day, and first off, when it first goes on it could be beautiful but then throughout the day it could easily break up on you and stuff like that so you want to make sure that when you purchase something that you actually purchase something that's going to last you throughout the day so with that being said thank you for watching and again i will be reviewing more foundations for you guys so just hit that like button and share because it helps me out all right thanks guys see you soon